Wishing you a good day. Fitness 24 hours is back. How is your day going? If today is a busy day for you, let practice with Fitness 24 hours at home with the top best fat burning exercises. You can do these exercises with me on days you can't get into the gym. Let's watch until the last video to achieve the best results. Before starting, press the like button and subscribe to Fitness 24 hours to receive notifications of interesting new videos. Each exercise introduced to you, you can start doing for 30 seconds. Resting 15 seconds between each set. Let's get started. Number one, alternate leg raise. The first exercise I want to bring to you is the alternate raise exercise. This exercise will help you warm up your lower body to help support you in the following exercises. This is an exercise that not only helps affect the thigh muscles, but also helps reduce fat quickly, especially in the lower abdomen to create firm abdominal muscles. That's why I included this exercise in today's list. Besides, for those of you who have incorrect sitting posture that causes your back to not be straight, I also recommend that you practice this exercise to effectively overcome sagging back. Doing this exercise every day for 30 minutes also helps you increase the flexibility of your hips and lower back, limiting spinal and lumbar pain. With this exercise, you don't need to use any exercise equipment and can practice anytime, anywhere. Do this exercise on a flat surface. You can buy yourself a yoga mat to practice at home. Place your body on your back, legs and arms stretched out alongside your body, palms facing the floor. Because this exercise stimulates the flexibility of the hips, it requires a lot of force in the thigh and abdominal muscles. When doing it, take a deep breath, brace the abdominal muscles tightly, and focus the force on the thighs to lift your legs up. Slowly raise your right leg, point your toes straight up, hold the position for three to five seconds, squeeze your abdominal muscles and then lower. Alternate between right and left legs to the number you desire. When doing this exercise, try to keep both feet from touching the floor too much and combine stretching your abdomen while doing it. For experienced exercisers, you can combine it with weights attached to your feet to increase the difficulty of the exercise. Number two, bottoms up. Bottoms up is an ideal exercise for those who want to burn maximum belly fat. Somewhat similar to the alternate leg raise movement, by straightening the body in a flat surface and avoiding letting the legs touch the floor. In the preparation position, keep your feet off the floor so that your muscles can stretch. When the abdominal muscles and thigh muscles tense continuously for a certain period of time to be able to lift the entire lower body high, then the muscle cells will be activated very strongly to connect the muscles together. You can place a soft object under your neck while practicing. Start with a position similar to the most tried exercise. With your body lying down on a flat surface, your back pressed to the floor, your legs straight five scimitar off the ground, and your hands up and pressed tightly against the ground. And together, take a deep breath, tighten your abdominal muscles, put force into your abdominal muscles, move your lower hips and thighs to bring your legs up so that your calves are perpendicular to your thighs and parallel to the floor. Hold the position for three to five seconds and slowly lower your legs back to the original position and continue repeating the movement. This exercise is really simple, right? You don't need too much experience to do this exercise. You just need to use the right technique and put force in the right position to complete this exercise well. Number three, flutter kick. An exercise like flying on your feet are the words to describe the flutter kick exercise. I just need you to lie down on the ground and act like walking with your feet in the air, and you're done. It sounds strange. Let's try this exercise. Lie on a flat surface with your arms and legs down along your body. Both feet are five centimeters away from the floor, and so the head or feet move up and down alternately. I don't think such a simple walking exercise can burn thigh fat, lower and upper belly fat at the same time. Actually, they have a real effect. I can lie down, relax, listen to music, and practice this exercise right on my own bed. Lightly practicing flutter kick before going to bed is also not a bad idea, right? Number four, elevated cycling. Coming to the fourth exercise of today, which is elevated cycling. The exercise most closely resembles normal cycling. We will have a steering wheel that is two arms firmly planted on the floor. I really like this exercise because it makes my legs very flexible in all joints. Hips, thighs, knees. 
Keep your biceps close to the floor so your elbows are perpendicular to the floor to create a pillar to steady your body and face forward. Start with your legs stretched out 3 to 5 C off the floor and begin moving your legs as if riding a bicycle. Keep your thighs close to your abs. Combine inhaling and exhaling, squeezing your abdominal muscles, and performing the exercise until you feel your thigh and abdominal muscles being affected. I also hope to buy a sports bike in the near future, but with this exercise, I can easily practice before having a real bike. Number 5. Air Bicycle We are halfway through the exercises to reduce belly fat quickly. Try your best. Please press the like button and follow Fitness 24 Hours channel to receive notifications of interesting new videos. It is also a cycling exercise, but the air bicycle exercise level will be a bit more difficult than the elevated cycling exercise. If you have performed the previous exercise perfectly, let's try this exercise. In this exercise, the only part you can press close to the floor is the buttocks. The upper and lower body must be flexible and combined with each other. Lie down on a flat surface with your legs raised high so that your calves and thighs are perpendicular to each other, placing your hands behind your head to help support your upper body more easily. Start performing the exercise with the whole upper body raised high. Turn your back to the right hand so that the left elbow touches the right leg. The right leg also moves high at the same time and continue to do the opposite alternating. Breathe evenly to maintain the movement until the end. How do you feel after doing this exercise? It's true that it's a bit more difficult than elevated cycling, right? Because this exercise will also help your upper body, including back muscles and arms become more flexible. Combining the whole body to perform an exercise is the fastest way to lose weight. Number six, lying leg hip raise. Next will be an exercise combining bottoms up and leg raise, the lying leg hip raise exercise. This exercise will greatly impact the outer thigh muscles and abdominal muscles, helping to burn excess fat in the abdominal area quickly. However, in this exercise, we need to lift our hips off the floor in the last step. Lie flat on the floor like the exercises I went through. Keep your legs straight and not touching the floor. Place your hands face down about 7 centimeters away from your body on each side to create a fixed pillar. Take a deep breath and start lifting your legs up like the bottoms up exercise so that your calves are perpendicular to your thighs and parallel to the floor. Try to tighten your abdominal muscles. Keep your hands steady on the floor to lift both legs straight up. In this step, you move your buttocks and hips away from the floor, only using your chest and hands to steady your body. Fix your body in this movement for three to five seconds and then slowly lower to the starting position. Continue doing the exercise and finish. You've done six exercises in today's video. We only have three more left. Let's think about a perfect body together and go to the end of the journey. Number 7. Crisscross Leg Raise The seventh exercise that Fitness 24 Hours brings to you is the crisscross leg raise exercise. For men who want to have six-pack abs, don't wait any longer and do this exercise right away. Especially for those of you who have a relatively large amount of fat in your thighs, and your thighs are not firm and healthy. When you first do this exercise, it will be a bit difficult to maintain your body. After a long period of practice, you will gradually get used to this exercise. Crisscross leg raise can be understood as raising the legs gradually while crossing the legs together. The inner thigh muscles will be activated a lot. Firm and strong thigh muscles also help us men look extremely masculine wearing long pants. In this movement, you still lie on a flat surface, but absolutely do not touch your feet shoulders, and head to the floor. I recommend that you lift your head slightly and look straight at your knees, still supporting your body with your hands. Gradually raise and lower your legs and cross your legs alternately throughout the exercise. At this time, your abdominal muscles need to be squeezed tightly so that your legs can move more easily. Fitness trainers have said that, although in this exercise your legs are the most active part, the parts you need to use the most strength are the abdominal muscles and oblique muscles on both sides. That's why it helps your waist look slimmer. Number 8. Lying Scissors Cross Continuing with the seventh exercise by crossing your legs. Continue with the Lying Scissors Cross exercise. Imagine your feet are a pair of scissors and you need to constantly cut pieces of paper. Let's start with me by lying on the floor with your hands facing down and facing the inside of your body. You can place your hands close to your hips. Keep your feet off the floor so that they create a 45-degree angle with the floor. 
Bring your feet shoulder width apart and cross each other in the same way a pair of scissors works. Just keep doing it alternately like that. Lying scissors cross will strongly impact the abdominal muscles and most of the thigh muscles. It's surprising that we've come to the end of today's journey. Congratulations. Number 9. March. Ending. Today's exercise is an exercise that is slightly different from the previous eight exercises. Also, alternate leg raise, but not alternate leg raise. March. In this exercise, I don't need you to keep your back close to the floor, but your back is the thing I want you to lift furthest away from the floor. In addition to the upper thigh muscles and abdominal muscles, the gluteal muscles are also an area that is improved after exercise. We start together with our hands lying face down on the floor and facing outwards, the whole body supported only by the shoulders, head, and feet. The calves create a 30-degree angle with the rest of the body. Brace your abs and glutes and put pressure on your thighs to bring each leg up in the same way as alternate leg raise. Continue alternating between legs until the end of the set. Wow! Congratulations on your persistent practice until the end of today's video. You are excellent. And those are all the exercises to help reduce belly fat that we want to bring to you today. Have you seen a change in your body yet? For those days when you don't have time, come immediately to the tips from fitness, 24 hours with top exercises. That best help burn belly fat. Try it out and share with us how your weight loss process is going. We believe you can do it. And finally, press the like button and follow Fitness 24 Hours channel to receive notifications from interesting videos about fitness. Goodbye and see you again.